Kate Moross is a graphic designer and art director based in London who has a rainbow spectrum of artistic skills under their belt. Having worked with a variety of clientele, the non-binary artist has explored various graphic mediums including motion graphics, typography, packaging, and filmmaking. Kate completed formal education at the Camberwell School of Art in 2008. It was during their college career where Kate focused on building a brand. In 2006, at age 19, Kate began creating illustrations for the independent music industry. During this time, Kate would most commonly illustrate hand-drawn typography. Kate became renowned for their typeface and was eventually commissioned to create a billboard campaign for Cadbury's Dairy Milk. What I find interesting about Kate's artistic style can be best explained through one of their later collaborations with Nike Dunk. Kate has purposefully created type and design work that touches in ways that would be frowned upon in a typical design sense today. What Kate has done here is what I like to call intentional tension. Having this type of tension in artworks to me betrays a sense of childlike whimsy and even rebellion, which matches Kate's attitude as an artist accurately. Kate also likes to get bold with their color palette choices and normally opts for colors that clash the best. Kate does not conform to what most people think a graphic designer would be, and yet their designs have been featured in campaigns for brands such as Google, Disney, and Adidas. While Kate was in demand for their illustrative work, they did not stop there. Kate wanted to continue learning new artistic mediums. With the money earned from the Cadbury campaign, Kate created a vinyl record label company called Isomorph. While only five labels were made during the lifespan of this company, Kate continued to work closely with other artists in the music industry. This avenue of art collaboration would then lead Kate to work as an art director at Pulse Films in 2010. There, Kate created music videos, labeling, and visual graphics for several popular artists, including One Direction, Sam Smith, and Disclosure. Kate would continue with these artists and more after establishing Studio Moross in 2012. The design company focused on finding new ways to collaborate with other creatives. The small group of individuals worked on large-scale projects and live events such as MTV, EMA, Nickelodeon Awards, and more. What I admire about Kate is how their love of working with different clientele transformed them from a graphic designer into a jack of all trades. The more professional term would be multidisciplinary artist, and it simply means you have an all-around understanding of other artistic mediums, which allows you to collaborate effectively with all kinds of artists. Kate also doesn't want to be seen as an artist who's just proficient in one thing and is always eager to improve their art directions. Kate also believes in several philosophies that they follow. Here's a short list. A design should have an enthralling story. Be free and able to do different types of work. Mistakes make your design interesting. The world influences you, not inspirations. Learn everything you can, specialize in some. Want to start a business? Get a business card and a website. These are slight summarizations as to some of These are slight summarizations to some of Kate's philosophies in the graphic design world. If you'd like to understand them in full depth, then I encourage giving Kate's book Make Your Own Luck a read. In conclusion, Kate Moross has gone above and beyond as a graphic designer and is a wonderful example as to what we should strive for when working in this artistic field.